This farm was, uh, well, the guy that farmed it for 50 years before I came. I came to work for him for five years to learn how to run this farm 40 years ago. And his father, he came as a 16 year old boy uh, and retired at 65. His father was a shepherd for Beatrix Potter. And Beatrix Potter, after writing some of her books, saw this farm was uh, available for sale because it was, it was actually going out of business. And she bought this farm and went and asked him to come back and run it. So that was Vic's, um, Vic's father. And he fetched his son, who was Vic, who I worked for for, uh, for the five years. Um, so that, this farm and the sheep were, the money and everything was raised by Beatrix Potter to buy it and she put the shepherd in to, to sustain it and I've tried to keep this farm going as I was shown in those five years that I worked for him. This way of life has not changed much at all, we still gather it the same way, we still do everything the same way, uh, the sheep still come through, uh, the same system exactly the same as it has done for, for 90 years, just what Beatrix Potter wanted. A shepherd goes to assist sheep. Sheep live quite naturally, Herdwick sheep live brilliantly without a lot of uh, interference. A shepherd helps that system through. The, one of the reasons that uh, Herdwick meat tastes like it does because they have such a variation of diet. Uh, they're not confined to one field or anything, there's no fences up on the fells and they eat what they want at the, the time that, that it's available or when they need it. And there's always a lot of, of good fat in, in, in Herdwick sheep because it's new put on. It, isn't, it doesn't carry over from year to year like it does on lowland sheep. They use all that fat up keeping themselves alive that next winter. These animals come back, you know, they're let out there and they're on to a, a piece of open ground that has no fences. Uh, my feeling is that if they didn't respect us as, as people to look after them, they wouldn't come back when they need help. I can go out to, that, to, the, to the boundary and if anything's not well, she'll not be far away from where they're let out to the, through that gate. And to me, that's a fact that the sheep knows that, well, if, I, if I'm not well and I need something, I go back to him. You don't do this to make money. You do it because you love it. You do it because you like Herdwick sheep. And if there aren't, if there isn't any more generations come along of Herdwick sheep farmers, that these farms will disappear. There's no doubt about that. 20 years ago, I looked at sheep prices and everything else, and I went round. I thought there must be something better than this. So I spent probably about 18 months going around different hotels and, and everything else and looking for different places to market, see whether they would sell my, my meat. So that's how I got introduced to uh, Dan and, um, and Ray Armstrong who was uh, who set up the business, LDF. They came out to see me when they first started and I was very much inspired by Dan as a young man. Ray was a businessman that was the uh, great influence of getting Dan in to, uh, going with, with LDF. And it's developed from there. We've had a fantastic relationship with them. You know, obviously the, the passion that they have, they look at a piece of meat and then they want their customer to be really impressed with, with how, it, uh, how it eats, uh, how it tastes and everything else, which inspires me to, you know, even do more with the sheep and everything else because I know it's going to end up in a, at a good place. We're only selling the byproducts of our farming uh, enterprise. All the female sheep are retained. This is, we, uh, we have, you know, surplus male animals which are not needed and that's what keeps us here and that's what sustains the sheep on the mountain that stay there. Um, and without it, it doesn't, it doesn't add up, it, it, it can't add up, it, it has to be uh, that way for it to, to, to work. Everything I earn I put back into those sheep. I don't, uh, I don't spend it on anything other than the Herdwick sheep. Whether that be extra land, extra food or whatever.
but that money goes back into the Herdwick sheep all the time. They're the priority to me. I'm Eric Tailforth, and this is why. <laughs>